Third Phase Moon, Blake Cousins, along with my brother Brent, we're going to break down this new uh, news coming in from the News Hub. They investigated the Antarctica, and basically what they're saying is, Area 51, is this possibly the new location? Well, conspiracies thrive in Antarctica, and what Brenna Bataclo is saying is that he was able to get into this top secret location in the Antarctica. He says it was on a lockdown and it's locked down very tight. It's patrolled by the military and only those with official security clearance can enter the most secretive areas. Well, Barena is about to share with the world via the news hub how he was basically accessed to this top secret location, the arrival. Heights Laboratories inside one of these secure areas and only those with government authorized permits can enter and apparently Barena was one of these. He says he's rattling up an icy road to the laboratory and the first thing you notice is a strange looking building off in the distance. He says it strongly resembles a giant disco ball. Perched atop a rocky hill, it looks like something out of a sci-fi film. Right away, uh, Barena from the news hub is about to break it down. What's your thoughts on Brenna, Brent? Yeah, this is exciting news. Let's hear what else he has to say in this article. He's saying that there's a conspiracy in Antarctica. At least he's laying down something. He says, quote, we can't show you what's in there, joked of the personnel they traveled with. See, I don't like this already. It seems like a, there's some kind of joking going on. Uh, crunching over the rocks and snow, he was taking a glimpse behind the curtain and nothing was secret from the journalists within the mission. The lab is an Antarctic special uh, protected area, ASPA, area 122 to be precise as Brenna says. And after seeing the disco ball, he says he half expected to find aliens hidden below the ice. What's going on in Antarctica? Could Brenna uh, be one of the first journalists allowed in? He arrived at the Heights and it was blocked off by a series of ropes. Security is low tech in most of the isolated place in the world, but a big red top sign one with a permit to stay away. New news, Brent, what's your thoughts here on this uh, image from the news hub coming from uh, Brenna? Yeah, this is very curious. I'm almost finding this photo a CGI Photoshop. I'm not sure to, if this is a real deal. Hey, if it is, that's fantastic. But I do think that we're being uh, withheld evidence right here. Brenna is being a whistleblower right now, but is he inside? Is he, is he the real whistleblower? Well, he's stating right here, he's behind the heavy door in a research that's going on for over decades. He says we're told stepping down inside the room is like stepping back in time. Area 122 has been known as to the Kiwi scientist since 1959. And tech certainly reflects the Antarctic uh, midset as Br Brenna says. Yeah, right, Like This looks something out of the movie Goldfinger, James Bond, super old vintage tech. What's going on here? Well, I really like the way uh, Brenna says it. it does seem like there would be aliens underneath the ice. And I'm sure Brenna's still not being, uh, having all the privy access to what's really going on. But uh, Arrival Heights is uh, des designated a quiet zone in an effort to prevent anything, including electromagnetic noise, such as signals from your radio from influencing raw data. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to shut the world out and keep whatever's happening in their private, even the universe, it seems, or uh, uh, friends of ours. They're even trying to hide it from our visitors, it seems so. Yeah, uh, Brenna says he's a, uh, has an excuse to wear a tinfoil hat. Now, uh, this is interesting because he says it's incredible that all of this fragile equipment is housed inside, essentially in a giant box. Like many Antarctic buildings, this lab is just large green container that's been dumped on ice. Well, I believe that the Antarctic and 
the technology has been not revealed to the public. And did Brenna scratch the surface? Yeah, this is pretty exciting. We got Russia in a race on who owns Antarctica and the United States is it isn't even laying claim at the moment. It's a it's a Antarctica race for technology. What the hell's going on? These pyramids are another aspect to Brenna's story as well. Yeah, here's a picture, a pyramid-shaped mountain and a second mysterious orb is going to be seen from the roof of the Arrival Heights Lab. This is photo credit from uh, Brenna bought a clove from the news hub and uh, what are we looking at? Is it this legit? In my opinion, it does seem like straight out of a James Bond film. What's your thoughts, people? Coming in from the news hub, Brenna shared this about three hours ago, exclusive access in Antarctica. We're sharing the original link. Uh, what's your thoughts? Yeah, there's some video that's playing along that and you know what? We're not going to show it. We don't need to show it. We've shown everything else at Third Phase Moon that we're basically seeing except these exclusive photos, which are quite exciting, but I think we're, we're not being told the real truth here. Yeah, so if you want to see uh, the video, it's from uh, the News Hub. We're going to supply the link again. Uh, they say there's secret pyramids to the hidden Nazis. Well, uh, we'll have to find out. We're, we're not exactly sure if that claim is true, but... It seems like Brenna might be onto something. Everybody, keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. Leave your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in the Antarctic and the mysteries behind it, you're at the right place. Third Phase Moon, Blake Cousins. Stand by, everybody. More info coming in. Thanks, Brent. By popular demand, Paul bared his back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. Paul Barrett's Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Available right now. Links are below. Keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone.